Hello, I'm from the Australian Government with an update on one of our most cherished traditions, being sociopathically shithouse to renters. This tradition is being celebrated across Australia right now. Mums begging for homes, pensioners can't afford most rentals, kids are sleeping in cars, flood victims are living in tents, and to get a lease you now need a renter's agent. Yup, things are so cooked, that's a real job now. Of course, if you don't like it, you can always piss off to the outback. Except you can't, because rents are skyrocketing rocketing there too. Welcome to the National, National Rental, rental crisis. crisis. A rental crisis is what happens when successive governments, Liberal and Labor, spend three decades trying to fuck you out of the housing market and nail it. History, History lesson. lesson. With policies like negative gearing, which we reintroduced, the capital gains tax discount, which this bushy gonad introduced, building less public housing and plain self-interest, which we both introduced, we've managed to force more and more of you to become renters. Looking to buy? Fuck you. You'll have to rent because those policies turned houses into investments which made them too expensive. Poor and looking for shelter? Fuck you. You'll have to rent or be homeless because we stopped building enough public housing. Looking to rent because that's just what you prefer? Fine. But now you'll have to compete with all those other folks we turned into renters. And that's why you can't find a rental. And if you do you'll get reamed with prices like these. So fuck you too. But when you think of it, it's a double Double fuck you. Because not only do you pay to subsidise your landlord's investments through these schemes that keep housing out of your reach. But thanks to our piss week tenant protections, you also pick up the bill when their investments go poorly. Interest rates going up? Pass it on. Inflation going up? Pass it on. Giving a toss? Pass it on. And that's how we can have only 26 million people inhabiting an entire fucking continent in one of the richest countries of the world and still not have a secure roof over everyone's head. But don't worry. We know you want us to do something about this. So we are. Introducing our aspiration to build 1 million new homes over 5 years. Sure that's the same number of homes built in the last 5 years. Aspiration. And sure we've only committed to building 40,000 which isn't even close to what's needed. And sure we're only going to start building them in 2024. But hey, at least it'll make it look like we're fixing the rental crisis. What would fix this crisis? More public housing. Because fewer people renting frees up homes for other renters and first home buyers. More rent assistance and tenant protections to make renting a secure a choice. And of course, reform the bullshit policies that cause this shit show. Are we going to do that? Fuck no. With 144 MPs owning more than one property or four or six or seven, it's not like we don't care about the rental crisis. We do. Because we personally benefit from it. Now get back to work, Australia. That Reno 108th investment property isn't going to pay for itself, you pieces of shit. Authorised by all Australian governments for the past three decades. Thank you to all our patrons for making the Honest Government ads possible, especially our patron producers. If you want to help us keep governments honest, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash the juice media, or you can grab some merch from our store. You'll find all the links in the video description. Also, if you know of a place to rent in the inner north, let us know in the comments. Seriously, I can't find one either.